So you've heard a lot about Microsoft Fabric, but what's the difference between Fabric and Power BI? I'm going to take you through uh, one slide that I use to help explain this for customers and show you some of the key core differences between uh, Power BI and um, what Fabric provides. So let's get into it. All right, so on a page here, let's, let's, let's at a glance, let's have a look at the differences here between um, Fabric and uh, Power BI. In particular, it's a premium capacity because uh, the conversations of those are on premium. And um, but if you're not on premium, you can still understand what, what you get uh, when you go to, go to Fabric. So let's look at the first line here, Power BI reporting. So certainly both Fabric and Power BI provide Power BI. I mean, Fabric really is, um, is where Power BI sits now as part of the product set. So it's included. Uh, but just note, and it's on the screen, but you do need for access to everyone, the F64 or higher, certainly the time of recording. Um, but, and those who come from Power BI Fabric, uh, sorry, Power BI capacity, um, premium capacity, you had that as part of the feature set. But essentially, even if you're not using premium, you Power BI is a reporting product. It's as simple as that. And it is now bundled with Fabric. But as I said, depending on your license, it depends who gets access to that. Um, the Copilot for Fabric. And this is a great tool. If you're thinking about how do we use AI with the data we've got? And it's going to be a game changer. I saw um, in the company I work for a sample of Copilot um, uh, answering questions about a financial report. So it is... And, and it was quite a good textual summarization calling key facts on a, on a, on a P&L report. Um, that otherwise, it was a bunch of numbers and may not have had context. So um, it's just one example that we've, I've seen that a, the co-pilot for Fabric is going to really help uh, change um, how people use analytics in a new way. But you do need an F64 or higher to do that. Now, machine learning. In Power BI Premium Capacity, which is what you needed to run some of the out-of-the-box machine learning, uh, had some limit it was quite limited. It allowed you to do some, some pr um, pretty cool stuff. But now with Fabric, you access to a whole data science platform that you can use at your fingertips. So there's much more capability for then doing machine learning as well as what was already baked into Power BI with that premium capacity. Now, in terms of data governance, this is a really, really an important topic. Every organization should be thinking about data governance. Uh, very limited with Power BI premium capacity. Um, and Power BI in general allows you to try and do some very rudimentary uh, understanding where your data is. But um, the Purview Hub that comes bundled with Fabric provides a much richer experience to see how your data flows between the objects inside the ecosystem. And of course, you can then update to um, full Purview for data governance product for even uh, a better, better, better data governance um, capabilities. And these last thing, three things here, data engineering, data warehousing, data lake, well, they're not even available in, in, in the Power BI premium suite. Not available in the Power BI premium, Power BI non-premium suite either. These are um, functionality that previously were separate Azure products that is now inside of Fabric. So you get all this other additional capability for, uh, for, your, for what you pay for for Fabric. Um, so that's really, in a, in, a, in, a, in a real quick nutshell, here are the, the highlights. There are other, other differences, of course. But use this to think about, right, what do we get when we think about going to Fabric versus maybe Power BI today? And you'll find there's a lot of value under the hood. You don't need to go straight to an F64 to access a lot of the features, but just be mindful that the two key things you need to think about what a F64 provides as a minimum is access to consume reports uh, for everyone in your organization, uh, as well as that co-pilot for Fabric. But other than that, then what the size you need is uh, dependent on you know, your workloads. And the best way to do that, start with something small, do some testing baseline, and then you can settle on what sort of size you might need. Hope that was helpful. If this was of use, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for any further updates.